As a result of the high cost of living, some Johannesburg residents have elected to make extra bucks by buying and selling second-hand goods. Johan Max, a Johannesburg resident, and his family were, like many people, hit hard by the COVID-19 pandemic. So I was working for, uh, for companies doing alarm systems, doing uh, technical work, and we couldn't do any work, we couldn't do anything, and that's where I started making an income from that. We started a small boltong shop, selling boltong, but that was my main income. Uh, buying and selling so and it, it helped us with a cash flow but that was not enough Max then started selling old goods from his household he then joined a whatsapp group that had been set up to buy and sell second-hand goods there's a lot of people on those groups so a lot of people are struggling outside they they also doing bu buying and selling Melissa Oliver is one of those who started these WhatsApp groups. So all that my group does is literally it creates a platform where people can advertise either a service that they give. So it would be home services like your nail technicians, hairdressers, um, gardening services, people that have odds and ends that they want to sell. Oliver says as soon as she started this group, she realized that it's a necessary service to provide to her community. The group provides for people who need to make ends meet as the cost of living continues to rise. So people would sell things on there literally just maybe to put something on the table. So it would be items of clothing, TVs, um, you know, small appliances, etc, etc, that would be the increase at the end of the month. That is what I've noticed. So people would literally um, try and sell whatever they have to make ends meet. Oliver says every day new people join in also looking to make some extra money. Yulisa Njamela for CGTN in Johannesburg, South Africa.